this module that you're gonna see in today's video review it's not for for beginners remember that it's working on direct ac voltage and that is dangerous if you don't know what you are doing and the price starts from eight us dollars and it's going up depends on which model you wanna get and what is it you can choose 40 or 63 amperes from 110 volts to 230 volts DIN rail adjustable over voltage and under voltage protective device with relay time over current protection limit and I have chosen the best one with 63 amperes and all the functions I order it and of course I got it no bubbles all oh, the box is little bit damaged never mind never mind what is that 63 amperes 220 volts also you can choose AC 110 both links will be in description below so you can check it RGB All right. DIN rail module Ooh. instruction manual no I'm not gonna throw it I need to read it All right. it looks awesome so let's see what it says in description over voltage protection 240 to 300 volts adjustable over current protection 1 to 63 amperes delay on time adjustable 1 second to 3 sec 300 seconds voltage meter ammeter rated voltage 220 frequency 50 or 60 hertz error in real time current voltage 5% also we have under voltage protection that can be set from 140 to 200 volts current display voltage display automatic recovery over current protection under voltage protection and over voltage protection this thing is awesome for protection so it's ordinary DIN rail module uh, we have live and neutral connectors on this side this is input and live and neutral output that's it the rest will be set using these four buttons on the module powering in three two one oh as it says R G B red green blue all right it's nice it shows the voltage right now it's 236 little bit over and that can be set also amperes and kilowatt hours all right off you can turn off the module not to work and on so here I have all the symbols for adjusting the voltages, the current, the overprotection, everything you need to know. And with holding the set button for what it says, three seconds? No. Okay, we are in. PT means power on delay time. That means that you can <coughs> set the the time when the module will be turned on. Let's say five seconds. I'm gonna change it to 8 seconds hit one more time or what holding the power button and go back turning off the the module turning on and take a look 8 7 6 5 it will count to 0 and then will turn on the power beautiful love this thing okay that we was the settings for power on delay time we have a uh, <coughs> This one is RT, meaning, what it says, what is RT? Protection, recovery, de delay. How much to wait? Okay. Now we have over voltage, that symbol meaning over voltage, that you can set over voltage protection for voltage, is set on over 270 volts, and it, if reach 270 volts, this module will protect. Over voltage now we have over voltage recovery settings you can set that also under voltage settings if the voltage drops below 170 volts 
the module will protect you. This is all under voltage uh, recovery settings. Okay, this one is over over under under voltage protection action delay time. Okay, this is calibration voltage. You can calibrate the voltage. This is over current protection is set on the maximum of 63 amperes. You can change that. The next one is uh, over current protection continuous times. I don't know what is it. All right. This is current calibration. Also, you have a power range settings and you can change the reset mode from 1 to 999 seconds and go back. Too many functions that can be set and this module will be the good stuff for your workshop maybe. I'm gonna install in my workshop for sure. Power on delay time that can be set from 1 second to 600 seconds. Take a look. 8 seconds is the delay time. After 8 seconds the bulb will be turned on. Beautiful. Now I'm gonna set the overcurrent protection and it says OC and it's set on 63 amperes. I'm gonna adjust that to 7 amperes. That is the current that I want to show you something. Come on, man. Yes, 7 amperes. Leave it for like this or just go to the next settings and you will go out of the menu or hold the power button yes okay here i have a heat gun and i'm gonna turn it on and at, at first speed it pulls 4.2 amperes but i set the protection over current protection at 7 amperes and this heat gun at second speed it pulls 8 amperes take a look what will happen it turn off and now we have the delayed time to be turned on again I'm gonna set on first speed wait the delay time to or recovery delay time we have how much more 10 seconds 9 8 7 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and take a look the heat gun is working again but is at the first speed going to the second speed that pulls 8 amperes but the protection is set on 7 amperes will do the job beautiful this thing is awesome turning on you can monitor the real voltage, the amperes and the kilowatt hours. This meaning 980 watts. The heat gun is pulling 980 watts. All right, and I can turn it off from here and also go back. Beautiful. You can see all the function settings that can be set on this module and take uh, uh, pause the video take a screenshot and you can read it but the main functions that i love is over voltage protection under voltage protection and over current protection and also can be set the delay times you need this module that protect your home maybe garage or the workshop and i love it because you can adjust all the functions like over voltage under voltage over current the delay time everything it's a little bit expensive but it's worth it believe me nice this thing i will install in my workshop for sure and i'm gonna make one more video so you can see it all right that was all for today's video please give a like share and subscribe to my channel see ya